I'm going to show you how to paint our gorgeous lion dancers, which we drew in part one. We did pastels in the sky in the shapes of fireworks, and now you can see that I am wetting areas of my background around my lion dancer. I'm covering the wet areas in my blue paint straight from my palette in a sort of navy color for the night sky. It's going all the way around the lion dancer, and watch what happens when I paint over the fireworks. Because the pastels are oil pastels, they are resisting the paint and my beautiful fireworks are showing in the sky and the paint is not covering them up. So I'm using a wet space. I've painted each space with water first of all because I want my blue paint to be nice and smooth and I'm filling it up with colour. So now it's time to paint inside the lion and I am using stronger color. So if I want my color to be stronger, I use a little bit less water. I am going to be painting in areas where the paint next to it is dry. So I'm moving around my lion and sometimes you'll see me turn the page around. And that's so I don't put my hand in some wet paint and also so that my bright colors don't touch other colors that I've painted. If I painted, my green next to another color, the green that I've just done for the big fluffy eyebrows, then the colors would blend and smudge together. And I want my colors to be really bright on the lion. So when I did the sky, I used a wetter paint, I used a wetter brush. And now I'm moving around the lion, painting different parts. You can see that my decorations that I did in pastels are showing through, and you can see that once the colour dries, which only takes a few minutes with watercolour, once the colour's dry, I can paint next to it. So I'm being careful and clever about where I choose to paint. So enjoy filling your line with colour. <laughs>